it looks like it is already kind of maxed out. Um, so I'm not going to pull it off. If you want to pull it off, did you put it on today? Or yeah, she, she wears it all the she time? She wears it all the time. Yeah, it's, it's really tight. Okay, well then okay. we'll get another Do one. Do you want to try to pull it off now? What? I can't pull it off. It doesn't have a buckle. It's not. It's a martingale, so it hangs there um, loose and, unless pulled by the leash. And it looks like it's actually at its... Uh, is, oh, hold on here. Is it at its max? Oh, no, wait. Hold on. It's at its tightest point, though. Because this doesn't have... It's one of those... Yeah, yeah, it's a martingale. So that means it'll... Which is my favorite, but it's too tight. Miss Didi's sweet to you. Yeah, she's sweet to you. She's nervous. I know. I we forgot to some, give her her. I forgot to give her her wine. She's doing this fine morning. now. She's doing fine, but she's got that. Oh yeah. Okay. It's, you don't have to get a new one. Um, but you can't pull that off now. I loosened it up. <laughs> you can pull that off. Okay. Well, yeah. I, what I don't want is it so loose that she slips her head through it because she's. So when when she's would a little, she? When, when? She's a little escape artist if I walk when we walk if I No, so out. if she if you're so it's designed not to do that. So here it's loose. Loosen mm -hmm. it a little bit more, okay? And when she pulls, it's going to cinch up. See, okay. if she were to pull to try to leave, this is designed to really pinch her neck. Okay. Not in a bad way, but just pinch it all the way up to okay. where she can't pull out. You're good. Okay, but go ahead, you can pull that off now. You'll have to go over this. Oh, mommy didn't realize you okay, too tight. I was like, this is really tight. Um, okay, we we had talked about doing a little bit longer. I'm going to show her what the four guard would you look. You don't have to. Just go ahead You're and do sure. seven. Go so I it. recommended doing the back to the seven, which is what we normally do. She had mentioned uh, wanting to get it a little longer, and the reason why I said that was because the four guard is just so choppy for this coat. And I kind of want to just show you guys so that you'll know what I'm talking about. And then, you know, I'm all about facts so that... People are always wondering, like, well, why are you even recommending that? So this is why. Because on her, this coat, every dog's different, okay? On this coat, you're going to see a lot of choppiness. Nah. Don't do you see how, do you, yeah, do you see, see what I'm talking about? Yeah. So on her coat, she's got a very thick coat. So if we don't go to the seven, it will be very choppy, okay? Say, it's getting summertime. Hey. So we are going to just go straight down to a seven. The five is also a blade I hate, and the five and the four, they're really choppy. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be cool. You're gonna like that. Yeah, we've been telling her she's gonna get a haircut in the back. So mom said she usually gives her like something a sedative. So what is it? A sedative? Yeah, a it's kind of like a glass of wine. And okay. Give it to her when because she hates thunderstorms. She's scared to death. Well, so how's she been doing with the storms then? Um, the other night she did better. She just Saturday went and got, night. Yeah, Saturday night really? she went and got in the bathroom. Friday night, four o'clock in the or Saturday morning at four a.m. Yeah, she went and got in the bathroom that didn't have a window. So if she can't see the lightning, then she does okay. Or if she okay. has it on uh, like a window, then that bothers her. Sorry, you don't like that. You don't like it either. You have such a thick coat. Doing good, B. Yeah. So, Tell me, she says, I'm walking every day. Are you? And I'm getting where I'm friendlier to the dogs in the park. I'm not afraid really? of them. I try to smell them if they let me. Serious? So, yeah, I'm coming around. Oh, that's great. But I realized when I was watching her that she was panting coming. I was like, oh, hell, I forgot to give her. <laughs> that's that's, that's why I need the cue. I was like, oh, God. Okay. Yeah, we've been telling you, you're going to get hair cut. <laughs> you're going to get hair cut. You're a good girl, Bailey. Good job. Doing good. You like it better when you don't have all those hairs on your hiding. Yeah. It's going to be cooler. Doing good. Good girl. Good girl, Valerie.
She's growing a lot more confident. Yeah, I can feel it. She's a little worried. And my dog, one of my dogs is, uh, she does the, the eyeball thing, but she would never bite a soul. So there's a little difference there. She doesn't bite out of fear. She does do the eyeball thing. So I'm very aware of when she's not feeling real great or she's real concerned about something. Look at mama. Look at mama. Good girl. So the eyeball thing, and hopefully she grows out of wanting to bite, fear bite. Bite out of being worried or. Good girl. Ooh, this is gonna feel so good. Okay. Four months or three months is yeah, really good. She went through a period that it didn't like grow and then all of a sudden it, she had a growth spurt. Oh, the hair? Mm-hmm. There was a period where it was pretty, stayed pretty short though? Yeah. And then just all of a sudden I was like, oh my gosh, it's like overnight. You're doing good, B. You're doing good. Yeah. Did you hear something? We only did a shape up at one point. So we uh, April 4th and then August 21st and then December 11th. So about four months. I'm kind of do an average of four months. Okay. Okay, so um, you want me. There's good. I'm actually gonna tighten up her lead here real fast and I'm gonna go to push her body up a little bit here. I need a little bit of this. Okay. You're doing good. You're going to have to sit your butt up. Okay, up, up, up. Good girl. Stay there. Stay there, Mom. You're good. Good girl. I got you. Mama's here. Let's see if she'll let me put this on her. Good girl. Sometimes new things don't work out, but let's, let me just try. Good. That'll help you. I'll support you. Good girl. To see, let that assist her standing there. You're getting better, Missy. Yeah. That's something new, isn't it? Yeah? You let me do something new today? Huh? Look at Mama. It's okay. Mama's here. Mama will never let anybody hurt you. Yeah. It's all right. Too big. This is David. Maybe go over here, man. Okay, it's just David. He may not groom you, but he's here every time. <laughs> yeah, good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Next time, Mom will remember you give me your old glass of wine. She might not need it, though. We'll see how she does all the way. Yeah. Her toenails are probably not too bad because we clipped them probably about three weeks ago. Okay, I'm going to check them. Yeah. Unless, you are, unless you're telling me don't check them. No, please okay. do. She might need a little bit more mm -hmm. of a trim. Mm -hmm. um, for some reason, when she walks, she must walk on the balls of her feet mm -hmm. because her her nails stay long. Our blab, he keeps his nails. Round them down? Yeah, real short walking. Um, Sometimes they're light This on their is feet. new since we've been here. I used to have to take my lab and take her separate. Well, one morning about three weeks ago, maybe a month ago, I was getting ready to go take the lab and she ran to the door and would not let me leave without her. So they're both going together. Really? Yes. That is new. That is very new. And they like walking together. Cool. She's coming around. Yeah. Pretty quickly, too, if you ask me. Well, I don't think she'll ever be like if I had had her as a puppy mm -hmm. and socialized her then. But, you know, you take what you can get. And mm -hmm. she's a sweet mm -hmm. girl. We've had a lot of workers at the house this last week. And she did really good. Right. We had to have our heat upstairs went out, and so we okay. had to have a total replacement of everything. Are you and serious? Then, then the gas, everything went at once. You know how it is. The gas fire logs went out, so I had to have somebody come in and 
reworked that. Mm -hmm. and, and then yesterday I had somebody from Keller Glass fixing the shower door. I mean, she's still not crazy when somebody new comes. Does she go hide or bark? What's Sometimes she'll go hide. Okay. You know, like if she's like, yesterday when they knocked on the door, she was on the couch and she took off. That, you know, once she realized it was all okay, you know, she mm -hmm. didn't, she stayed in another room till they left, but she didn't freak out. She still wants to go to the closet. I won't let her. Good. <laughs> Good. Humans are the same way with our habits, you know. You're doing good. We always good, revert baby. back to what we felt comfortable doing. You're doing we good. Need well, that's her safe place. She mm -hmm. feels safe there. Mm -hmm. You're doing good, boo. Yes, ma'am. You're doing real good. You're going to look so pretty. Yeah, you're going to look pretty. You're going to like being short. Can't wait to show Daddy and Sugar. Yeah, I can't wait to say sugar. Can I see this? Don't get upset. Can I just see this this foot here? It's okay. You see. Hey, look at mom. Look at mom. You're doing great. Good girl. Oh, 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 oh. Good okay. girl. Okay. Good girl. Hey, hey, look at me. Keep your eye on me. You're good. Yeah. You wanna tell me? Yeah, you wanna tell me about it? I oh, know, you don't like wearing that thing. I'm sorry. Look at mom, it's okay. She's just gonna clip you back there. That way when you have problems, you won't it's okay. You sound like you're belching. Tell me, Steve said, Mom, Mom, I didn't feed me this morning. I wasn't well, happy with her either <laughs> on that. Well, it's pretty early, so you'll be fine as soon as you get home. Well, I hate to say, I'm like with this with my son when he was little. We are scared. I'm scheduled. I'm a scheduled person. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they get up at 5:30. She gets her Prozac. Then they get to eat. And she didn't get all that this morning, so she wasn't overly happy with me. <laughs> it's like I don't understand. You're doing good. I gotcha. Mm. I gotcha. Mm. You're doing real good, Missy. Proud of you. Yeah, proud of you. Man, I don't like anybody messing with my feet, does she? <laughs> mm -mm, that's the worst part, right? That's okay. the worst part. Let me do it around her head as best as I can. So we can be just with the feet next and, and done. Okay. Where do you want me? I don't know. That's fine. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. You're good. You're good. Look at me. Look at me. You're good. Yeah, look at Mama. That's a good girl. Look at me. Good, baby. Doing good. It's all right. I got you. I got you. Look at me. Yes, yeah, look at me. It's okay. It's okay. Keep looking at me. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. It's okay. It's all right. Boo. It's all right. Almost finished. Okay, keep looking at me. Look at me. No, ma'am. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. It's okay. It's okay. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Good girl. You're doing good. Almost done. Almost done. You're doing good. You're doing good. 
Good job, Bailey. I know that made you nervous. I can see the look in your eye. But you did great. You're doing so much better than the first time we met right. you. You've come a long way. The worst part is coming up. Don't get upset because I'm just sweeping at this point. Hey, that's Mama's got your foot. Don't. Give Miss D a hard time. Mom, yes, that's that's your what I've got your foot here. Right, switch blades here. It's mom. Yeah, and then you're gonna get a bath. Ooh, gonna get bad. You ready up there? Okay, watch your face, remember. Look at me. Look at me. Good girl. Good girl. Uh-uh, I gotcha. Good girl. Yes, you're doing great. Good girl. Doing great. Uh 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 uh. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Gotta get the hair out of there. Be easier when you walk. Yeah. Good, good job. You're doing a good job. Tell Miss D say, it's almost my second birthday when Mom brought me home from the really? Humane Society. Yeah. Two years. It's two almost years, two? Almost two no years way. ago. Mm -hmm. Was March? that one of your first grooms? I can't remember. When I brought her here, that was her first. No, so, you've had her, so I've known you guys two years now? Well, I brought her home uh, March 26, my son's birthday. I brought her home from two years ago. It will be. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Bailey. Let me see. Nuh uh uh Say, I'm, my husband got one a little short, and I think she probably remembers mm -hmm. that. It's okay, you're good. There's not All much good. to take off the back. Tell them there's not much to, if you're going to do anything with the back, I'm not at the front yet, but the back, there's not much to take off. You're good. Good job. And causing blood will make a dog act like this. So, yeah, I really would prefer up. he not do it. Right? <laughs> up. Look at me. Look you at see? me. You're good. I know. You're upset. Almost done. Almost done. Yeah, see, I'm going to have my second birthday. I wonder what you'll get. Yeah, you've come a long way in two years, Miss Press. Ooh, this is cool. That's so great. Okay, coming in here. It's all right. It's okay. Look at me. Look at me. Yes, look at me. Eyes on me, Bailey. I know, honey. Uh-uh. It's almost done. I think this is a stressful on me. Okay. <laughs> You're good. Walter? You're good, Bailey. Look at me. Look at me, Bailey. Boo. Look at me. You're doing great. Good job. I'm not going to let her hurt you. No, I'm not going to let her hurt you. No, look at me. Look at me. Keep looking at me. You're good. I promise you're all good. You're all good. I'm not going to let anything happen. Let me see. Good job, Bailey. Good job. Nice and easy. This stuff is easy right here. Good job. That was good, girl. Good job, Bailey. Good job. Yeah. Got your summer cut, you're all ready for the heat. Mm-hmm. Which is crazy that we've already gotten a little slight of it. 
Well, it's crazy that it was 50 80 on Saturday and then it was 50 on Sunday. Can't decide what it wants to do. You're such a good girl. You are doing great. Yeah, look at mom. Look at mom. Yeah, she's not going to hurt you. Look at me. Yeah, you know I'm not going to let anything happen to you. Protect you at all costs. You look so pretty. Yes, you do. Just a little cool, that's all. It's okay. Let me see. Oh, <laughs> nope, Bailey. Like that. Okay, we'll skip that for a minute. We'll finish it in the tub. Okay. All right, we're going to Let me see here. Yep, that's good. You're okay. You're good. You're okay. So I don't that's like that thing on my nose. Did we take it off last bath? Um, do, do you recall? I don't remember. I think I we really did. Think she, but I don't really think she's aggressive in the tub. We need to keep an eye, but... Good job. Good job. Yeah, good job. Smell some something something back there. Some anal glands coming out. Well, he can wear his boots and the, the, oh, the fresh really? shoes. 
She attacks. Or turn in my heel. I don't know. She she's never attacked me. I don't wear high heels anymore. You get your sixes, you don't wear that often. But, but um, she does not like when my husband puts on his dress pants or shoes. She tore up a pair of his just by grabbing at him. She snapped at him. <laughs> So whoever had her, and I don't know if it was somebody that maybe had took her babies. Because, you know, we give her uh, stuffed animals, and the ones that I think remind her, why well, she's got brownies, she's had him for two years. And she loves that and licks it and cleans it and grooms it. She never chews it up. She's had others that are, like one was a Santa Claus, she tore it up. She has her favorite stuff. Yes. But any of them that look brown, I think she thinks they look like her baby. She does not care up. Interesting. You never know, girl. You never know where they've been. Well, I didn't know she was, in a, she was a backyard breeder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but she never, uh, she was put in a cage and... So if we know that she's a backyard breeder, that's why I'm like, I don't think it's the, the suit shoes in general because she wouldn't be ever be in that environment. Well, somebody, you know I mean? when she would never be, that. if he went outside into a shed with dirt or whatever, it wouldn't be. Well, they told me it was a cage. There was her, another female, and a male. Where was the cage? In the backyard. Yeah, Just so. an open, open cage in the backyard. <gasps> Look at her smile. <laughs> How are you feeling? I can't, feel feel I can't believe I'm drying you like this. Come on, come on, sit up. Up, come on, let's go. There you go, sit up for me. Up, come on, come on, boo. Come on, Bailey. up. Look that way. Come on, look that way. There you go. Good girl. You never know. Yeah. Yeah, you wish they could talk. Mm hmm. Says heartworm positive. That's tough stuff to go through there. Did you end up just doing for heartworm positive? Did you uh, do the? We did three poisons. I was gonna say. Did yeah, you do that? How much was it? Four hundred and fifty dollars altogether. Uh -huh. That's not bad. What vet? Uh, in Colleyville. That's not bad. Colleyville. Um, town center. Okay. Town center animal. I paid them cash, and. They really worked with me because they knew that she was she was very cage aggressive. I got her in March and I started the heartworm in May. Okay. And like they didn't even keep her overnight because they knew me. They know me. They know you. They know me. And they know how I am with my animals. And they knew that like if I needed to keep her quiet that she wouldn't be going anywhere. Right, right. And in fact, the third poisoning, they had me, she shut down and they had me come get her that same, you know. I better get a picture before I put this on. You look so pretty. Look how pretty you look. You happy? <laughs> See, fast, easy, less stressful, right? Okay, I'm glad I loosened this up for you. I start to panic when I was like, oh gosh, this is staying on all the time. She doesn't know how tight it is. I didn't come realize on. how tight come it was. On. Come on. Come on, you gotta come with me. Come on. Here you go. Good girl. All right, Ma, I'll let you put your face mask off first. So you put it in your little package. Yeah. Hey, hey, y'all. Thanks a lot for watching Boo's Groom. If you go back to her first groom uh, about two years ago, I guess. I didn't know we'd been grooming her that long. So two years ago on her first groom, which is a lot of videos back, I think she's under aggressive dog grooming playlist on my channel. If you go back to her first groom, it was exhausting and dangerous um mom didn't i think it was something i remember back two years you know trying to remember back i feel like there was a moment where the mom the pet parent all literally the, the dog swiped her almost bitter face and i said oh i guess we're muzzling her now because it 
in the beginning it wasn't like the mom wanted a muzzle I, I kind of remember that I could be wrong but I personally if I get a feeling and I want to muzzle a dog that's my beef you know like that's my feeling I have and there's something that you just get you over you either you get goosebumps or you feel if you've been grooming long enough I think that like I've worked with some people that I would be like oh gosh that person would not feel anything with that dog they would just get bit you know and I have that's happened to a bather they just don't have that feeling they don't know what they're looking for they're just doing the bathing they're just focused on doing the bathing and they're not looking at what the dog's doing what the dog's breathing the ears of the dog they're not all these things that I don't realize I'm looking at how it's acting how it's behaving the, the look it gives me all these different things that an animal is doing and you just have to be aware of it and you work with a new animal or in my case I work with a lot of aggressive animals dogs that will bite you whether it's fear whether it's hate whether it's whatever whether it's trauma this the simple fact that they will bite me there is a, a lot of uh, which has kept me safe you know which has kept me pretty safe there's a sign that they give you and you have to be able to read it and so that that is the difference between a beginning groomer in my opinion someone that's worked around animals a long time or someone who's just starting so that experience d does buy you years and it takes a long time to figure those things out so you don't ever walk up on a dog like that that you know is aggressive and you're about to groom the dog you're like hey what's up no you, you don't run at the dog you don't approach the dog like that you were, I'm not here as a trainer. I'm here as a groomer. I know I need to get a, a haircut done and to um, make the dog do certain things and go reverse on you. This is going to be a bad situation. So when this dog came in the first time, she had uh, been basically rescued and was in a crate outside and had been um, a backyard breeder is what I was told. She literally said that today. Uh, she was, in my opinion, just not inside, not socialized, and was aggressive. I mean, she almost bit the mom in the face because I was grooming her feet. It was a really tough, tough groom. And we learned a lot. I told one of the major, she didn't have a sedative today. She don't need a sedative anymore. She needs walking. She needs exercise. She needs direction. She needs leadership. She doesn't need medicine to knock her out and make her feel wine owed. And I say wine owed because she said it'll wine her out, you know, like it'll make like a glass of wine. No, she doesn't need a glass of wine anymore. She may have, she may still need what she said. She, I think she's actually prescribed Prozac. Um, and that's their thing, not mine. It's that's their fix at home. That's how they're handling it. That's how their vet's handling it, that kind of thing. So here, I could see today she does not need a sedative. She doesn't need to be sedated. She needs direction, leadership, firmness. She needs leadership and exercise. So I told her today, it's rainy outside, and I tell all clients, you know, it doesn't even come down. It's getting to the point where I'm like, it doesn't even come down to your dog being aggressive. If your dog gets a good 20, 20 to 40 minute walk, before a groom, before anything you need to go do. That dog will be more exercised and rested to perform well on a grooming table or in a veterinarian office or whatnot. Mind you, let's go back to health. So if you have a, a dog with health problems, if you have problems, other organ problems, I don't know if an exercise is gonna work for you. You might need to consult your veterinarian. But I can tell you, if you're gonna groom a dog, the best thing to ask your clients to do is have a brisk walk. Not a walk to go urinate on everything. Not a leisure walk. A walk to briskly get exercise. That means a good pound, you know, good pounding. I call it like speed walking. You're gonna focus on walking and get exercise out. That makes such a difference. She is doing that. She's down walking the dog every day. She said, "Didi, we walk every day." That's great. That's exactly what you need, especially when you have a rescue situation. You don't know where that dog came from. The the walk alone, you are gaining trust with your pet and your pet's gaining trust with you. Uh, the proper leash and collar is gonna be essential. She bought from us a martingale, which I recommend on all dogs. It's gonna cinch up when the dog pulls on the leash so that like on a busy highway out here, if the dog jumps out of the car, the collar's not like, oh, it was loose. I didn't realize it was that loose. It will just cinch up when the dog jumps out and tries to run off. So you got more handle on the pet. Thank you so much, Melinda, for wa walking your dog regularly. We are seeing it on the table. Uh, one thing I did want to mention is I, I heard and she said that her husband has been doing the nail trim at home and, that I, you know, they already did it two weeks ago, and I two or three weeks ago, and I said, I'm going to double check him, but then I also heard he hit a vein. So I told her on her way out, if he continues to hit a vein, we might just go backwards. 
we might just go backwards on what's going on. So those of you out there thinking you can do a nail trim at home, or hitting the vein at home or making the dog bleed at home if you're doing something like that over and over don't think it doesn't play a big role on what happens while the pets being groomed it can happen being groomed too what I'm saying is you do something that's painful over and over and over it's gonna just cause an already aggressive dog to revert back to being more aggressive we did good today but I just told her if he's gonna hit the vein a lot over and over during every nail trim, it's not worth it. A nail trim is like starts at 14 plus 14 bucks. So why cause more trauma to the pet? Please don't do that. If you are doing that at home and you happen to be hitting the vein regularly, I think that you should have a professional do the nail trim. And I hope that you find a professional that does not hit the vein every time they do a nail trim. That's key. So you're gonna have to ask some questions, right? And don't be afraid to ask some questions. If I went in somewhere to have someone do my nails, but every time I do, they took it up to where it was bleeding a little bit, I would start to ask questions like, do you know what you're doing? <laughs> have you been, how long have you been doing nails and how often do you hit the vein? It, like if you're doing my nails, I'd be like, how long have you been working here? It's usually got a license hanging right there. I can see how long they've been doing nails, right? It's not a beginner. And then you might pick and choose who you have work on you, who you have work on your pets. All right, so thank you so much for watching. I love seeing pets just overcome things that they've, they've gone through, and I think that exercise has a lot to do with that. So make sure you exercise your pets. She came in no mats. That's such a great thing, and I'm going to see her in about three months. So book your grooms in advance with your groomers so that you can stay on on board with being on time, and the maintenance, it turns into a maintenance groom, so it's not like a full-fledged on groom all the hard stuff all over again all the mats don't do that to your groomer or your dog you saw mom she has a face mask she actually bought a, a groomer face mask from me that's a reusable one but i told her this one is just as good as a 14 dollars one so it's a matter of how you take care of it she folds it in half like i taught her and she puts it in a plastic bag and then she keeps it it'll probably be next two grooms she'll probably have to replace it but you get one of those it's going to keep that hair out of your nose while you're grooming and i really think it's important so pick up your groomer mask at myfavoritegroomer.com under the groomer mask link all right we'll talk to you later